Hey guys, Johnny here. Got my old Ruger farming out. And I'm going to be doing something a little different today. I tell people to never try to magnetize, magnetize the ball and cap revolver. But I thought something up and I'm just going to try it. And that's shooting a 36 caliber bullet and a Sabo out of the Ringer Old Army loaded with 35 grains of triple seven three F. In theory, I would finger the triple seven. This man's such a light bullet, 130 grains with such a heavy charge. I mean, typically in your navies and stuff like that, you only got a 12 to 20 grain charge, usually. Well, this is only 35 grains, a triple seven. And in theory, it's spit it out at near or low end magnum, 357 magnum hmm. velocities. I've only got one of these, so I'm going to be shooting the Milk Jug Bandit a lot closer. About five yards away, that way I hope I can hit it. I've never done this before. This is a 45 caliber Sabo, and it was designed for a 40 caliber bullet. So to make up for the little bit of difference, in the the um, bullet size, I wrapped a little bit of paper around the base of the conical. This is a Cliff Manley, um, a Cliff Manley conical. I would have done a Kato too if I had extra thingies of Sabo, but I didn't want to shoot all my Kato is up because I don't have a mold for it yet and I do for the Cliff Manly so I decided I would just go with this. Okay so I got this milk jug bandit on my property. I've asked him to leave. He won't leave. So I guess I'll have to teach him a lesson. Well, I didn't have the explosive results like I was hoping for. That's where it went in. That's where it come out. But all in all, I've learned something new if you want a lighter, um, lighter recoil in your revolver. Without substituting power, much power, you can always load your 45, 44, 45 caliber ball and cap revolvers with a 45 Sabo and a 36 or 40 caliber pistol bullet. And it's a lot of recoil. And I would say somewhere around 38 plus speed. Later on, I'll get some more Sabos and try it over a chronograph so I'll know more about it. Well, this is uh, Joni over and out.